Uh, yeah, so today I'm here with my man Goo Goo. How you doing today, man? Bro, I'm doing blessed, bro. You feel me? So Fuck you that corona shit. <laughs> You just starting the day. This nigga just woke up, by the way. <laughs> just got out here, bro. You already know what it is. Uh, all right. So uh, first, before I even get to my first question, like uh, your name is a bit of a weird name, even for me. So like, uh, where did you get it? Like, what was the idea behind it? You know. Let's see, uh, growing up, I had my older cousin. He always called me like Gogo, and but there's not really anything behind the name. It just Oh fuck. The name just stuck with me, Google. It popped back at me once I, I realized I was doing this rap thing and I was like, fuck. I need a I'ma need a name bro, I'ma need something catchy. So I was like, yo, that Google shit came back. <laughs> and I was like, yo, you know what? I'ma use it. I, I fucking used it and you know niggas like to play them tricks and Google Gaga. And call me all them fuck reason shit, but it's all good though. That's why you hear my tag in every song. Google no Gaga no wine no baby. I keep it like that. I keep it simple. You feel me? So niggas know what it is. Google no Gaga no wine no baby. That's what's up, my man. So uh, my second question is, uh, what are your origins? You know, like uh, where are you from originally? See me, I'm a Canadian artist. Yeah. But born to ja my parents are from Jamaica. Straight from Jamaica. You feel me? So we can't speak Patois and all of that too. Oh. And you see, uh, cause uh, I'm born in, you see, Quebec. And my parents weren't even born up in here and things, so I was forced to go to a French school. Which is why je parle aussi français. You see, you feel me? That's what it is. That's what's up. And talking a bit about your family and everything, uh, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I got a older sister and an older brother. I'm the youngest, we're three. Older brother, bear. You already know, the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Out here, man. It's and uh, is everything good with the family? Everything is good? Yo, the family is blessed. Honestly, like, yo. If we speak about family, straight up, me and the money, bro. Like, uh, our, our, our situation, like, bro, we have a good relationship right now. I'm not gonna say a lot of times growing up as kids, bro, me and this nigga, yo, fuck, bro, shit was bumpy, bro. Me and him used to scrap, yo, bro, always <laughs> argue, be at it. Even sometimes when you're younger, scrap sometimes, but yo, niggas were at it always verbally and shit, bro, because I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of shit that ticked me off, bro. I get, I get mad quickly, and like, bro, niggas have their way, he has his ways too, bro, so like, we always add it, but like, yo, bro, we've been getting along for a good while, bro. But you know, he's broski, he's family. I love that nigga, bro. So, hey, yo. that's what's up. And just like talking about that shit, too, bro, I'm not gonna cap. Me and my big bro, too, we were on the same shit. It's like, it's family, you know, there's, there's love and shit, but like, when we go at it, bro, it's like two niggas beefing, you know? It's like, it's like, but now it's like we go to the point where we're smoking J's together, we're drinking together. It's like, it's like, all love, you know? I feel really go at it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I, no time for that. There's bro. no time, you know? We gotta get this money, you know? Exactly, money. <laughs> money, bro. Yeah, time my man. Money. <laughs> So talking about money, my man. So what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? First thing I do when I wake up in the morning? Yes, sir. <laughs> the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is brush my teeth, fam. <laughs> but after that, you don't know I gotta smoke up my my big splash. You know, hey. grab a weed. The usual, you only feel. You feel me? <laughs> Uh, you're yeah, like the third you're yeah, like the third person I interviewed that tells me that so it's just like a rapper thing Well, it's not <laughs> really I can't say really a rapper thing because yo, I've been smoking even before the rap But like we keep it at that like I know niggas It's just when you're a smoker when you're a stoner it's, it's that that's your daily life, bro. You get up you have weed, bro You're gonna smoke weed, bro. You feel me? All them stoners out there, they know that shit too. But they have weed, bro. Y'all niggas are smoking that shit in the morning, bro. And if you don't have it, 
you know if you did, you would. <laughs> so the only reason niggas are not smoking is because they don't have the weed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if niggas had weed in quantity, bro, niggas would be there feeling like it's Hollywood. And... <laughs> oh, good morning, Canada. You know, nigg niggas would be like, for real, bro, niggas would be out there like, yo, smoking, smoking their pack off every fucking day, bro. Talking about profit, bro. Niggas would be smoking their pack off. Yo, me personally, like, uh, I don't keep more than, uh, I don't keep more than 7 G's in the crib. Only 3.5, because, like, more than that, I just start loafing. It's like, all I want to do is just chill and smoke. <laughs> yes, exactly. You see my exact point, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a fact, though. That's, that's a, a fact. The more point, weed bro. you have, bro, the more you're going to smoke. I don't know how that works, but that's just how it is, man. <laughs> so, uh, talking a bit about uh, education, man, which school, which high school did you go to? Milo Go. Oh, damn. Say no more. <laughs> secondaire Saint Laurent, you know? Oh, and uh, what kind of student were you? Me? Yeah. I was a quiet student, actually, but I kept to myself a lot. I'm not gonna say I ain't fuck around a little one, two in class sometimes, but outside of class, I was more of a student that just kept to myself. I did my own shit. I knew a lot of people, but I didn't chill with a lot of niggas. I was always on my my ones, or I had like a one, two friends with me. Not really that nigga that was chilling with a crowd all the time. That's what's up. So you're just, uh, you just low key. And uh, how about the grades and everything? <laughs> Yo, honestly, I'm a guy. I was doing good in school. My problem, I don't study. And I just look after school, bro. I, I, it's, my, it's my time, bro. <laughs> I forgot, you know, the books. I, it's my time, bro. <laughs> That's really what happened, bro. At first, bro, I used to... You, you, you'll see my notes are up here and going down, up here, going down, always fluctuating. Every time they'll tell me, yo, you, you're messing up, you're messing up. All right, you're going to see my notes come back up, and then I'll slack off again. It's really... I'm a good student. I'm good with the books, but I'm not focused. I'm not focused on that. My, uh... Just on, just my take of school is, uh, I was a good student. Actually, I'm, a, I'm still a good student. I don't have an issue with school or nothing. It's just like what they're teaching there, bro. It's not what you need in real life. Like if you're not to be, if you're not like going to be like a doctor or something that they actually need you to study to exactly. practice those skills, yeah. you don't need school because like, bro, nobody ever taught me how to manage my money. Nobody ever taught me how to deal with exactly. depression. Nobody Nobody's ever taught me how finances. to handle shit in real life. But it's like, yeah, nigga, I know, I know the simultaneous equation. It's like, <laughs> like, what are they teaching in schools, you know? So my opinion is, I'll just say, I wish they could maybe readjust a bit the courses so it's more oriented towards the uh, life. You know, they can start giving credit courses, educate the kids on things they actually need in real life, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's really what it is, but seems like niggas ain't focused on that. Niggas just want <laughs> things that's gonna make them money. <laughs> it's all about money, like we said at the end of the day, right? Bro, it's all about the money, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so talking a bit about the whole money thing again, my man. So, um, at what age did you start rapping? Uh, I started rapping at 16. And uh, how old are you right now? I'm 20 years old. So it's been like four years. And uh, can you like give us a bit how it started? Like what happened? Like like what's the story, my man? Okay, so my cousin, she uh, I had po I used to write poems. Let's start off like that. I I started off writing poetry. So. I was a little shy nigga. I didn't like to, I didn't really show niggas or nobody my work. I was a guy that would just do my shit, keep it to myself. That's, like I said, I was a nigga that kept to myself all the time. One day, like, yo, my cousin was seeing me write something and she was there like, yo, let me read that shit. Let me read that shit. We're at the same school and shit. I was like, nah, 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 nah. She ended up taking my phone and reading that shit and then she was like, bruh, this shit is gold, like. She's telling me, like, I need to go to the studio. Like, she'll bring me to the studio. I didn't want to go at first because, you know, niggas are shy. And I didn't even ever think of myself as a rapper because I didn't even think that was my lane. I didn't know what people would think. That's really how it starts off. You don't know what niggas is going to think. So, 
one day like she just told me like she's gonna bring me there it's a free studio so you know what I, I ended up going it was like I pulled up at the spot it was just like a little a little spot but it's a free studio it's like a youth center for like and shit like that like I pulled up in there first experience in the studio I did my thing like I wrote I wrote a decent a decent verse decent hook had her on my, my boy trendy I start like yo I think I'm still doing music with today both of them obviously but like yo I had both of them hop on the song because at the time like bro I didn't I didn't feel like I had enough content to just make my one song alone yeah so then I started off I did my thing I heard the song it sound like, bro, I didn't really fuck with it when I heard it, bro. They, every, like, all, they were both saying, everybody in the studio was saying, like, yo, bro, you killed it, you killed it. I felt like I killed the message that I sent. I didn't kill what I did. Yeah. But from there, like, I told myself I'll try again. I did again two, three months later. Yeah, it sounded better. So then I started telling myself, you know, maybe I'm going to take, like, a little time off on the side and start like yo going a little one two to there that that same free spot and seeing how it does and boom fast forward two years later boom i'm still there and i yo i ended up just yo some niggas start started telling me like yo dog your music is good fucking music but like yo dog the quality is not there but I understood, bro. You go, you know, you go into a free studio. You're not putting your money down, so you're getting, you're <laughs> you getting can, what you, you can fucking, talk shit. You get what you get. You get what you <laughs> fucking go. Like, bro, you paid for free, bro. That's what you get, dog. That's what's up. You get that work, bro. So, yo, bro. I switched over. I, I paid for a studio session the first time, bro. And yo, when after after I paid for a studio session for the first time in my life, bro. And uh, how much was it? It was fifty an hour. And uh, which track did you like first record it? Like, what was the name of the first track you and uh, Trendy and the Squad recorded? Yeah, the first song I did at the fr at, at the free studio. At the free studio, it was called Hold Up, the Come Up, the Come Up. And like, you still have the track? <sighs> nah, I'm not even back. I, <laughs> I deleted that shit off my phone on purpose, man. <laughs> I can't listen to that. <laughs> You are not at that level anymore. I don't want to listen to that <laughs> shit, bro. When I listen to that, it, it makes me cringe, bro. I hear that shit, I'm like, wow. That's what that sounded like? Because, bro, I'm good now. <laughs> so when I hear that shit, I'm like, fuck. That's me? Damn. Because I, I I hear a lot. Everybody got their shine. I hear a lot of niggas, they start off and they already good. Yeah. Me, I started off, I'm not going to lie, I started off shit, kind of, because, yo, I didn't know. The feel of the studio, I didn't know how to project my voice. I didn't know none of that. That shit I had to learn. But I got better. I could do that melodic shit. I could do that Joe shit. I can do it all. And uh, I've seen, like, I was in the studio with you and I was actually impressed uh, by just the way you can switch up the flows, just the way you can switch up your voice. Like, you go, you're like, you're like pop smoke in a minute, you're like Uzi in the next minute. It's like, <laughs> you're like different niggas on the mic. So like, uh, what is the training behind your voice? Like, I know you don't just wake up in the morning and just like, it doesn't come like that, you know? There was a work put to it. tell you something. Me and my dad, he's a singer. He always told me that I would inherit his voice in some type of way. Me, for me, like, he just told me I need to practice. So for me, that melodic shit, that voice I would say would come from there. For the melodic shit, you see? Um, but otherwise, I always told myself that I wanted to be different. I wanted to do it all. Like, I don't want to just, yo, do drill, hard boot. I want to be able to, yo, mix it up and make niggas say, yo, who the fuck is this? This is Google. This is not Google. I want to hear them reactions. So niggas hearing this, they're like, nah, bro. It's that same nigga that's doing that pop smoke shit right there. That same nigga doing this, this little, ooh. For the bitches, them little uh, same nigga, <laughs> yo, dog, you know what I mean? I hear you. I'm I like, bro, I spit in French, I spit in English, I'm gonna do the patois. I, I do that dance hall shit too, bro. So, like, I wanted to have different lanes. You everywhere, my Everybody man. Everybody keeps trying to tell me stick to one lane, and I'm telling him I'm not. Fuck it. Nah, fuck that. I can't stick to one lane. If I can do it all, do then it do all. It. Hey, that's what's up. And uh, what is like the really like? How did you come to the conclusion of like telling yourself like, I'm serious enough to have a manager. I'm serious enough to have a team. 
I'm serious enough to like like how you handling the whole rapper scenario you know to the point yeah. where you have a manager now I see you have a team you know you seem solid you know yeah so how how this like the constructive process works yeah this took like I started getting I, I started thinking of getting serious like about two years ago uh, yeah a year and a half ago I must say a year and a half ago my first track after I said like yo this is it like I'm getting serious it was 64 bars that was in uh I think I dropped that March of 2019 March of 2019 that was my first song that my first music video that was really out there and like yeah after that I really start I really just tried pushing a bunch of singles I even had a, a mixtape drop but I feel like I it was too early to drop it. I should have dropped a bunch of singles, on my by my point of view. But it's out. It was it's out there and it's been out there. It's what it is. But I decided like yo, just keep dropping work, dropping work, dropping work because yo, you're gonna get recognized, bro, for what you're doing, bro. There's not a lot of even if the views are not there right now. There's not a lot of niggas that's doing what you're doing. Just yo, bro. Plus you know me. Other other than the music, I'm out here. I walk, I'm, I'm in the streets a bit, bro, like, I, I, I go meet niggas, bro. So I've been meeting up with other people, other rappers. You see, niggas, niggas made, like, acquaintances with people. So, like, yo, even being around like that, I met my manager a year ago. But at the time, like, he wasn't managing me, and he was just like a nigga in a trap, and we were just, like, chilling, and it was like, yo, why go on? Like, yo, first time meeting this man. Yo, man actually spoke to me about music and telling me, yo, he could put me on with shows. He told me a bunch of things. Me, I didn't take it serious at the time, no lie. Because a lot of niggas were talking their shit at the moment, and yo, bro, yeah. a lot of niggas told me that shit, and bro, it never went nowhere. So when he was telling me that, I looked at him, I said, yeah, 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 yeah. In my head, I'm like, I was, I'm not going to cap to you. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Are you going to see this capo? You know, I thought you were bullshitting me. <laughs> yo, anyways, fast forward. Um, fucking, I dropped my French song in December. Personne ne croyait au moi, I don't know what the fuck happened with that, bro. It got some views. I dropped Dora. And after Dora, fast forward to March now. I'm there promoting Open the Vote, and niggas are fucking like, yo. Niggas are sharing me like never before. Like, I never seen so much love uh, uh, on social media when I, when I was fucking promoting Open the Vote. And I was promoting that like, yo, I, I knew this song like, yo, this song was gonna be a song that's gonna, my first song that's actually gonna get traction, stills. My first single that's gonna get traction, which it was, kind of, in a way. It could have went further, but it didn't. Because lack of promotion by me, yes. But, boom. It drops. People fuck with it. I pull up, I see the manager down at CV, bro. At the time, like, again, they say my manager, yeah. I see him at CV. Just kidding, hot in this bitch. I <laughs> see him down at CV. We start talking, having a conversation. Yo, how's the music going? I show him the music. I tell him, yo, this is what's up, bro. Bang, open the vote. Show him the video. Whoa. The man asked me, yo, you got a manager? <laughs> nah. It's like, yo, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna manage you. I was like, yo, again? <laughs> I hear this in my head. I ain't seen this nigga in over a year. There's probably some bullshit to my head again, I'm thinking again. <laughs> but I'm there, I take his number down this time. It's more serious. We have a solid conversation for a good hour and a half to two hours. Solid conversation. Everything goes blessed, you know? Like, bro, we, we, we really, like, on the same page on everything, bro. So, like, boom, take his number, boom. I got a, actually I don't even remember how it went after that. I just know niggas linked the fuck up a couple of times. He called me on some shit because it was, co you know, coronavirus kind of fucked up a lot. Yeah, yeah. But he called me and the man was already like sending out my song to a bunch of people, sending it out to niggas in the, the States, fucking niggas in the dot much. Yo, he got, he, he was sending it out to all the links already, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shit was slow because of Corona, but he was doing his thing and I was seeing like, shit, all right, bro. Like, shit is actually going for me. 
since like yo, I'm gonna show you, bro. Since since April, yeah. Me and this nigga been solid. Yeah. It's August now. I've been pushing my music. I made about. He told me the other day since I've been since he been with me, I made like uh, about 39 songs. I think 39 to 40 songs. Damn. So and like, uh, how many unreleased songs do you have? I approximately. I know the clip is loaded, my nigga. I know the clip is I loaded. I got probably over 80 unreleased songs. Unreleased. And uh, me, like, I'm just trying to see, like, bro, because the shit, I, I've heard, like, some few tracks, especially they said the studio session with Grams and all the man's them, bro. Like, niggas are not even ready for the tracks, bro. Like, I've been bumping this shit in my playlist, and I'm just like, bro, when these niggas are gonna be dropping this shit, right? <laughs> niggas, the only shit I, they can do, bro, is just hate. Dead ass. Because, uh, like, bro, that music, bro, it's legit. You're talking some real shit. I can relate to it. You're speeding your bars. Like, bro, everything is sync, you know? Like, there's work today. And I've seen how music yeah, was yeah. created. So, I think uh, just being around that makes me appreciate the music even more, you know? Just, okay. like, seeing how many takes you have to do a hook. Like, how you have to readjust your voice. Yep. Like, bro. It's art. It's, it's art, art at the end of the day, bro. And it's to art me, at its finest. And to me, I respect that, you know. I have too much respect for that. So, uh, talking a bit about uh, the, the projects and everything. Do you have any upcoming projects? I'm working on a drill uh, EP right now. Uh, with Trendy? Yep. I feel like... Um, I'm not trying to be cocky you know, and all, but um, I feel like we're about to take over the drill scene in Montreal. That English sex section, like right now, yeah, we killing shit, bro. Like we out here, we popping off. We got a lot of that, a lot of that coming. And this is six four, bro. This is a different movement. You feel me? It's family over here. That's why, like, yo, I got grams on the drill shit too because I'm out here and I'm hearing niggas, yo, how. How they sounding I'm shit, I'm like, yo, I need this nigga on my project. I need this nigga. You see, like, bro, the way shit is coming up, I'm seeing, like, a Brooklyn vibe in this bitch, bro. You Dead feel ass. Me? Because, like, bro, everybody, like, we, uh, CV is like a mini New York in Montreal, right? You feel me? It's like, niggas, are always, niggas always come here to party with us. It's like, we go to the block around 5 p.m., bro. It's a function over there, you know? Like, go to Cousino at 5 p.m., bro. It's another function over there. Like, bro, come to the hood, my nigga. We, we got everything over here, my nigga. You already know. Ah. So, um, you're kind of young yourself. I'm not going to lie. Like, 20 is kind of young. And uh, let's say, for example, there's this, like, this 15-year-old kid that's in high school, like, trying to get in the music industry. Like, what advice do you have for him, you know? What advice do I have for him? Yeah, yeah. What advice do you have for any youngings that's, like, trying to, like, get into the music industry? What my advice is to you, see, like, you see niggas out here, they just rush into the fucking music. They just, they like, oh, I want to be a rapper, rush in. Nah, nah. When you start in this, as experience, fr from experience I'm speaking, when you start in this, make sure you have a song, your first song, written down, practiced it over and over again so it sounds like record yourself spitting that shit so you see you you know what you have a little idea what it's gonna sound like if until you can't have that first song perfect don't put it out you want to make sure you are the best version of you they hear the best version of you when you put out that first song you don't want to hear no okay yeah this nigga's just starting type of shit <laughs> i'm telling you bro you don't want them comments you're hearing that you're like shit that, that probably hits your heart a bit because you probably wrote something and thought that, yo, this is the best shit I ever... Bro, take your time. Take your time. Practice, practice, practice. That's the key to everything. And that's no lie. Because I used to always tell myself, yo, fuck the practice. Let me just get straight with it, bro. You on that AI shit, huh? <laughs> practice, bro. Hey, you heard the man. I, I learned... I have at least 25 songs that are pure trash that y'all will never hear in your life practice practice that's all i'm saying there's nothing more than that 
Hey, I record you yourself, know. don't forget it. You already know. The man said, practice, my man. This is the advice for any young out there. I said it over 10 times, bro. Practice. Practice, practice. Like, even me, bro, like, to any young that's trying to get into the photography, videography shade, bro, practice, my man. Everything, like, bro. Everything. That's really what it is, bro. You got to put the work into Whether it, Whether you're trying bro. to do a sport, art, anything, my everything man. Everything in life, bro. You need to practice. You need the, to the practice. More, the, more the more you experience practice. experience you have at it, the exactly. better you're getting, bro. The Facts. better you're going to be at it, bro. Facts, Facts. You spent more time on it practicing, you're going to get better at it. Facts, my man. So, uh, me, I want to refocus a little bit on the sixth form. So drip is like a big thing in the six form, man. You know, niggas like niggas like looking clean out here, bro. So uh, what's good? Like, what's what are your favorite brands? Like, what, what what's your drip, man? What's your like? How does good moves when it comes to that? I'm not gonna lie to you. I was fucking with Gucci a lot, but you see, since that uh, little backlash is on them, like you know, it has me a little yeah iffy. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm still rocking that Gucci double G like the Gucci. <laughs> No, these niggas never knew me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I say that a lot, bro. But I fuck with Nike a lot. If they know, I know that shit. And oh, you on that Black I Air fuck, Force fuck energy? Got you know? <laughs> that, that trademark shit on it, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's that energy, bro. I fuck with Nike a lot. Yo, right now, bro, I'm starting to go. I think I'm gonna start rocking with them designers. Like, I heard, like, yo, I was watching, I was looking at them Palm Angel shits. I'm fucking with that. I started fucking with that. You're gonna, go, you guys are gonna see me rocking that shit real soon. You guys are gonna see me rocking some Burberry soon. It's that Louis. Ooh. Y'all are gonna catch me in that Louis soon, the whole suit. Yo, niggas is not capping. I got the Gucci suit at home already, man. Oh. Yeah, bro, I'm just. Hey, don't say. I just don't, fuck. Don't, I just don't fuck say with too it. much. Who might hit that lie, leak? Bro, I just fuck with it all, bro. Niggas is just gonna yo. I'm not gonna say too much, like you said, bro. When it's gonna be there, niggas is just gonna see it, bro. Niggas are gonna be hey. like, oh, oh, today nigga is rocking the Louis. Oh, okay, it's Gucci today. Niggas is gonna see, bro. Hey, you don't already know, man. Just, just bring, just, just bring, just bring your twenty to fifty. You already have your photo shoot on the block. You but already I can't know. lie to you, bro. Normally, I'm just a guy that. <laughs> I got a simple drip. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that too. You just I'm a casual a simple nigga. Drip. I yeah. come there casual yeah, yeah, all yeah. the time. All the when time. When you yeah, see me that. going out, maybe I'm a bust out a bit. All right. <laughs> but when I'm on the block, every day you see me as a casual nigga. I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. drip the fuck out every day and all, all that. Right, I'm bro. not even nigga that has that that's rocking with jewelry too much like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, bro, we just on the block, bro. You don't need all that drip, you know? I ain't gonna lie. Hint, <laughs> next piece of jewelry coming soon, though. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Me too, I need to get a piece, bro. Mm. Like, I've been trying to... I, like, I'm trying to stack up a little bit, though. Like, but I'm gonna yeah. get it, like, in 2021. Like, right now, bro, I'm on stacking mode. Yeah, like, that's, what, that's really what it is. Yeah, yeah. Stack, right stack, now, we stack, stacking. Stack, stack, we're trying stack. to see... We're trying to we're see trying what's to popping see these, up. The, yeah, we're trying nigga. to see these. Like, that's what's up, man. Started seeing 10 times of those, bro. 10 times that shit, bro. Hey, talking a bit about the whole situation that's times. happening in the whole world, man. How did the COVID-19 affected you, man? COVID? Yeah, yeah. Fuck COVID. <laughs> COVID ain't do shit to me. COVID ain't affect me. Listen to me. My family was worried about COVID. I'm going to say my mama, my girl, my sister, those are people that was more worried about... Bro, I looked at this. I'm not gonna lie to you. At the beginning, when this shit came in, I was tripping. I was looking like, what the fuck is this, bro? Niggas are dying left or right. What the fuck is this, bro? Then it hit here, and I was like, bro, fuck. <laughs> it's real. That shit's in Canada, bro. That shit's here, bro. Niggas are dying. Niggas are dying. And after a while, I started looking. I was like, yo, I don't know anybody around me that caught COVID. Dead ass. And I've been in these streets, and I. <laughs> Anybody tells me that somebody has COVID, it's somebody that knows somebody. Yay. That, so I'm here, I'm like, yo. <laughs> like, where this, is this, this shit? Sounds, this, this, what the, where the fuck is the COVID, bro? They said, I seen at one point, they said like 50 niggas or 60 people had COVID here. I was like, shit, if niggas have COVID like that, as at least a thousand niggas by the next day should have it, which ain't the case. Well, there's news that say that this shit is fake. People think it's real. I'm on the side that thinks this is fake. 
that's all I'm putting out there, but hey, me it too. is what it is what it is, bro. Hey, if y'all think if y'all think it's killing, you see this mask, bro? Yeah. I just got this because I can't get in the store without Dead this. You feel it's me? part of the dream. I can't get out. Yo, and and bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> ah. You see how it looks? That shit looks fresh. That's the only reason why niggas is wearing that. At first, I had them little blue doctor masks. I was like, shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, I'm. I'm not trying to be wearing a blue drip out here. So like, um, what's going on? Then I saw the fabric coming in. I was like, huh. <laughs> Let me see that black and red one there. I like the chopping mask. You see, you got that blue one on. Yeah, yeah. I got a red one just like that, bro. Hey, shout out I, to Diesel for the trapping mask, man. You already man. know, bro. Shout out to Diesel. You already know. Link in the description below, man. Go support the hood. You already know, man. And you know, Shadi linked me with this. This shit. Ooh. And then you know, I went out, bro. I got two others, bro. And uh, to me, bro, like the shit you just said about the COVID, it's like, hey, I feel I empathize with anybody that loves your family members, like, and anything, you know. But to me, like, it's very hard to consider a reality I don't see. Like, uh -huh. you know, like, to me, it still sounds like a story because when it started, bro, I have never quarantined myself. I was still out there in the streets, right? My mom ain't like that shit. When the quarantine started, we were not even obliged to put masks in the metro. It's after like if killed like a thousand people that would now were like you're supposed to be putting masks on. They say they killed. I feel like the government just like they I don't know man, they are on their own shit. Like dead ass. To me that's just how it feels, right? They have their own agenda for us. Dead ass. That's to me, that's the shit, that's just how I feel, but I'm not going to emphasize too much on that. Exactly. Yeah, the government just have your agenda, my brother. But uh, also, like, uh, last time I was in the studio with you, you mentioned, like, some bunch of deep stuff, my brother. So, first, you're a vegetarian. Yeah. And uh, this not, is like... It, it's, um, let me tell you right now. Yeah. That shit was hard, man. That shit was hard. Niggas more of a a pescetarian right now. Cause I, I got I I'll add a little fish to my diet. Cause you see, I was losing a lot of weight. Yeah. Nigga have to gain them. I don't eat I don't eat a lot of it though. I'm still I would say 90% plant based type of I eat a lot of beans, vegetables, and fruits in between when I can. Like that's really what consists more of my diet. But you know, like, to me, bro, just like coming from the hood and like, what? And listening a nigga ain't eating the fried chicken Listen, and that nigga. wasn't, it wasn't like that my whole life, bro. Like, like tell I, us, my man, ooh. tell us, speak to us, my man. Speak to the people who want to listen to stories, my man. We're here for that. It all started <laughs> three years ago in the dot. Down up in the six, you feel me? Okay, so. My pops was living up there, and he had this friend, this Rasta youth, all right? And this man was always telling me, like, yo, he's a big man, old, old, older, older man. Could have been my grandfather type shit. But one day, we're driving in the car, and I wanted gum. I wanted chewing gum. My dad gave me some gum, gave me his pack of gum and said, take one. I was about to take a gum. And a man told me, hey, do you know what's in that pack, in, in that gum you're about to eat? I was like, no. He said, read the packet. I read the packet. And I was like, bro, I read a bunch of shit I don't fucking understand. So I'm like, like what the fuck, okay? He's like, do you understand any of those? He's like, no. So why are you eating it? And then he made me think. He's like, every one of those things that you don't, everything that you don't know on the pack, go search it up. So I did so. I looked up, the first thing I looked up was aspartame. Aspartame causes memory loss, causes hyperactivity in kids, in children, which would if they eat a lot of sweets because there's a lot of aspartame and shit, it would cause a lot of hyperactivity, which would, as, as doctors would diagnose that as ADHD, which makes you realize that your kids are just not supposed to be eating sweets. 
okay? These, all these things just came up as logic to me, okay? I searched up, I, I realized like for old people eating that shit, like, yeah, if, you're, if it's making you fucking have memory loss, then that could be one of the causes to Alzheimer's, which made me think too. So then it made me start realizing a lot of shit like, yo, what the hell? Searched up the next thing, it was artificial flavoring. <laughs> All of those are known cancerogenic. I don't know what they, I can't, known to give cancer. That's all I'm gonna say. They're known to give cancer to people. I looked at that, I was like, damn. Like, what, what the fuck, all of this shit is fake in the food. Like, what the fuck is they doing, bro? Like, why would they do this? So I started searching up shit and I was like, yo, it's all FDA approved. Which made me realize that the government don't want you alive. Why do so much people have diabetes, all of this shit, bro, like, yo, cancer so much nowadays, all of this fuckery? You are what you eat. And it's true. It really is true. You eat all of this meat, a shitload of meat all day, collect high cholesterol, clog up your arteries. What do you mean? It's all, it's all evident. I'm pork. I'll never eat that shit. Why? A pig don't got no pores. A pig cannot sweat. Sweat? You sweat bacteria, nigga. A pig, it rolls in mud because it's too hot. It's trying to cool down. If let's let's make an example with a garbage bin. If you put garbage in a fucking bin and you close it up. No, it can't, if nothing can evacuate out of it, what happens? Worms develop inside. What's in a pig is worms, maggots everywhere. Why? It cannot sweat so it's in its body. A pig can take that because a pig's stomach can eat anything. A pig can eat fucking wood, a metal tin. A pig can literally eat fucking anything. Leave this bottle there, the pig will eat it. Its stomach will digest that bitch. Damn. You, you can't, you're not supposed to, you, you knowing all of this, bro, how can you eat a pig? You know, me, looking at that, I realized that a pig's purpose is literally clean the fucking land. That's, that's it, bro, clean fucking land, bro. And then, then it started making me more subconscious about what's going on around me. Then it made me start doing like, you know, I went into other researches, I ain't gonna go deep down into that right now. Yeah. But food, it's really important what you put in your body. You're trying to elevate, you're trying to get to the best version of you. It's really important what you put in your body. You want to stay healthy. Walk outside every day, get some sun, get all of that, bro. Eat properly. If you don't, if you don't have vegetables and fruits of, as a part of your, your diet, your daily diet, then yo, get on that. Because that, that type of shit is important. You think meat and all that every day is good, bro? No, it's not. I'm sorry, but it's not. No matter what you think, bro, oh, I'm going to add vegetables to this. Meat every day is not good. You're just building cholesterol. And um, another, another thing is, like, I want to ask, like, do you cook your own meals? Like, how do you eat? Like, I cook my shit. You cook your shit? When I'm at home, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I order some vegetarian shit or some little shits on the side. Yeah? Because I'm not going to lie. One fucking shit that I should not be eating up to fucking today that I can't stop fucking eating is a poutine, nigga. And that shit is fucked up. But I make my own, I can make my own poutine too, bro. yeah. That's that's the good part about it. But that shit, I'm, I, I'm I'm distancing myself from that right now. It's more like I like to cook like sautés with like vegetables. I like to cook like bro. I I, I make sauce so and I'm Jamaican, nigga. Like you know, cause that shit is like vegetarian type shit. But I put that on my rice and shit. I eat that. I have always vegetables in my meals. That's really how I cook a lot. I season that. I season that bitch. If you eat my shit, bro, you never go. Yo, bro, there's no way you're gonna eat my vegetarian shit and say I don't like vegetables. When you eat that, you're gonna say, bro, I'm gonna eat vegetables. <laughs> I season that bitch. I make that shit taste like chicken, and that shit is fucking vegetables, bro. Cause, bro, I had to find a way for myself to like it too. 
Cause you know a lot of niggas ain't just gonna take up vegetables and shit. That shit is good. So I really had to find a way to like season it, season my shit with like yo. I I, I be using coconut cream too in there. A lot of yo. I use my shit, but I do my I do my little thing. I spice my things up. I'm not gonna give out no no recipes out here. <laughs> I spice my shit up. Hey. Man, this is like, this is why I love doing these interviews, bro, because like you get to like know the side of like people you don't know. It's like niggas on the blog, they, they don't even know like this nigga is like on this spiritual level, like so in touch with himself because like we just out there smoking, you know, just like wilding. And to me, <laughs> just like getting this part of you, I'm like, hey, that's what's up, my I'm man. I'm still young, man. Like, but I'm learning. I fuck hey, with this. I fuck with this, man. And, um,. My next question is, uh, how does Gula love spending his bread? You know, like when you're in your bag, like what do you do? You know, like how do you spend your money? I don't spend a lot. Damn, nigga. <laughs> Hold up, this nigga is capping. He just woke up. You. That's what? How much? I let me tell you. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> if you want to get technical, bro, we in the hood, and I'ma catch you. I spend most my money. On food to eat, obviously, liquor, weed. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's really what it is right now, bro. <laughs> after the rest of that, bro, I save. But if I got a little bills on the side, I pay those. If I can treat myself or something, bro, you know. If I want to, I'll go out. But I'm not really a, the go out type of nigga, bro. I'm the nigga that likes my comfort zone. You see, I, you see, you'll catch me on the block often because I'm com I'm comfortable. I lived here my whole life. That's my comfort zone. If I'm on the block, I'm home. Yeah, that's. No cap. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really that nigga that's going out like that. Or in the studio or something, you know? Like, ah, that's another place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spend a lot of money in the studio. I spend a lot of money on music. I spend no, a lot of money not, on my dream. It's not spending, it's investing. I invest investing. a lot of money Thank into you. my dream. Thank that's you. really what it that's, is. That's an investment. I invest into my dream. Thank you. A lot of money. Me but too. But it is what it is. Right now, niggas is grinding. Niggas is trying to do what they're doing. I'm just trying to stack, 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 stack. stack. <laughs> you feel me? That's Bro, what I'm trying to do. I'm Jump not going to cop. Like, I love waking up every morning and counting my bills I'm stacking. Like, that's my motivation, right? I wake up, I count it up, and I'm like, I, I need to add more. Like, I love counting my 20s. I don't I love, know why, I but I fuck with my 20s. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Like, bro, I like red bills, I like green bills, and I like brown bills. I know, D-Money, yeah. D D-Money is only brown bills. I've never yeah. seen that nigga, bro, with anything that's not brown. See, I love, I love <laughs> the other bills, like, yeah, they have, you know, it's pocket change. <laughs> but it, it's there, bro, you know? It, it, it could come it could come in handy but you know it's the rest that's really you know you don't want to have a thousand dollars a thousand 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 like you know a bunch of stocks and it's ten dollars and five dollars right. having a long nah bro you don't want that you want a, a decent little okay you know i could fucking put it together count manage my shit properly it's exactly, not fuck exactly. bro that's right. why nigga that's why niggas like 50s and 100s Yo, I'm still at the. I'm still. If you got stacks, yeah, with fives. If you out there counting fives and nah, nah, and nah, tens nah. And <laughs> niggas are gonna call you a little boat boy, bro. Do you nah, think nah. This is, I bro? feel like uh, but, like listen. it's not really what it is. Niggas is trying to. There's nothing to show, bro. Just Dead make ass. your fucking money, bro. But it's like, to me, it's not. It's not necessarily about nothing to show. To me, it's my own accomplishment, right? Like you see, like some people like setting different goals. To me, it's more like, I just want to feel like what. 10 G's in 20s feel like. To me, it's not about, oh, I need to go on the ground, I have somebody to impress, nah, nah, it's not it. To me, it's just like, fuck. I just want that feeling. That's it. It's a, it's like, it's like a girl you see, you're like, 20 what? G's. <laughs> 20 G's in 10s would look like some fucking madman business, bro. <laughs> a bunch of fucking purple. You look like, what the fuck is this? Ah, uh, make, make that shit, make that shit <laughs> in five then. <laughs> You gonna count that money, my nigga. That's exactly, yo, bro. Niggas is not trying to count that fucking long, bro. I love counting the money, though. Oh, bro. I get tired with 20s, bro. Bro, I'm loving the 20s. Oh, shit, bro. So, let's, let, let's, let's stay focused out here, man. 
So uh, I wanted to be focused on your love life and everything. First of all, uh, do you have a girlfriend or something? Yes, I do. And uh, everything, everything is cool. Like your guys, like for how long have you guys been together? I've been with my girl for almost three years now. About. Yeah, about uh, two years and nine months. Damn, nigga, you on some loyal shit. And uh, how does he yeah, work with them? How does he work like with the music industry and everything? You know, because like, bro, I have been around you guys for like a minute, bro. Some days, like, you guys pull up to the mad functions, them. And you're a rapper, you know, you got your little cloud. I'm sure you got some shouties looking at you and shit. So, like, what happens, man? Like, how do you like stay loyal to this one girl when yeah, you're like oh, the thing in the in the hood, you know? Right now, bro, nigga had one fuck up and that's like, listen, shit is what it is. Right <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you what it is right now. Stay humble, niggas. Stay humble. Them hoes gonna talk to you, bro. Them hoes gonna do their thing. They gonna be out there, but yo, I know this gonna be a shoddy that's yo prettier than, sh prettier than your girl out there, bro, for sure. But hey, you got a commitment out there, bro. You gotta, you gotta respect that commitment. It's what it, it's really what it is. And uh, does your girlfriend like helps you with the music industry? Like, uh, do you feel like she's just, like do you separate her from the music or you involve her into the music? This music thing is me. She can sing, she could sing, but She's kind of shy, really fucking shy about it. So like, I can't, I couldn't really involve her into none of the music. I tried, I tried. I brought her to, we went to the studio, I was doing my song. I just, I wanted to hit in the boot, but she's shy, like I said, like she really needs to get comfortable around this shit. So like, right now she's not really involved like that. The only involvement right now is that, uh, She's my number one uh, model. So if I need a shorty in my video, you know, my girl is there. <laughs> <laughs> She's there. Number one model for my videos, bro. I got videos, enough videos coming, actually. I got, uh, I think I got five or six more videos in a vault right now. Oh. Jungle is about to drop. Yeah, but I got like six, five, Jungle, six. Uh, Jungle was the one you shot on the block? Nah, Jungle, I shot that um, fucking in the bush, bro. Oh, damn. Not really in the jungle, bro, but uh, behind my old high school in the in the, in the little forest. High oh, school. like yeah, yeah, like behind. Yeah, the, the, behind, behind the middle of going. Oh, shit. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, that's that a... new library and shit. I was in there. Oh, I was up in there doing my thing. Oh shit. And, and like uh, for me, like I look at it, I was like the visuals. Yeah, they came. They look like they came out nice, bro. That's blessed. That's blessed, my brother. So uh, it's starting to get a bit hot and then it's time to go, my brothers. So I uh, just want to thank you for coming out here and uh, thank you for making this interview happen. You already know. It's and, cool. Uh, uh, <laughs> say something, say something to the fans, man. Stop, lo stop loafing on a nigga, stream some music, bro. You already know I got heat for y'all, bro. I'm out here, bro. Say just for me, man. This is for y'all too. Entertainment It's cool. Six hey, four, six four. You're you already know, know. <laughs> but why did be RBF six four shit? We out here, man.